Hey, good morning. It's time now for Coach's Corner, live from McDonald's on Madison's Hilltop. I'm Tim Torch. Thanks for tuning us in this morning. We do it every Saturday morning from the McDonald's across to the Madison High School. This morning, we're going to talk Southwestern Lady Rebel basketball. I have Coach Devin Byerly in. Good morning, Coach. Good morning, Tim. How was life? It's good. It's always not, and I told Travis this on the way home last night. It's always nice to talk to a coach after they won their last game when they're on this program. So <laughs> you got to win. You got to win the last time out. We'll talk about that in a little bit. That's it's your uh, four and eight on the season right now. Yes. Yeah. Um, honestly, I haven't kept up with it a lot. You so. don't track numbers. Yeah, I know. No, at this one, I'm not keeping even track. It's one game at a time. Yeah. You guys, uh, I think 10 and 16 a year ago. Let's kind of go back and reflect on your first year as a varsity head coach. Or kind of give a report card to yourself and a learning curve for you. Um, you know, I think it was obviously um, – a brand new experience for me just being a head coach um, you know we came in with a brand new coaching staff brand new team um, had a lot of a lot of stuff to put in mm-hmm. and um, you know I, I think we did I think we did an okay job um, you know for how late we came in sure. um, and just trying to um, implement some stuff and kind of um, identify what how we wanted our teams to play and things like that Mm -hmm. um you know the wins were nice and and obviously um you know i've been told that was an improvement from the the prior years but you know i wasn't really worried about our record Mm -hmm. um just need to uh, really get in the trenches and and start implementing what we want to see um lady rebel basketball you know be at in the in the future so um you know, we were we were pleased with what we did, mm-hmm. but the, you can always be better. Never satisfied. Never, no. <laughs> Even if it's perfect, it's never. No, no, it, it, no it'll never be perfect to me. And yeah. I think that's a blessing and a curse in a way. It but, it could be. Yeah. It, it definitely could be. When you when you look at teams and and grit and mentality and maturity and youth and all that you're throwing together and you're trying to put everything together and as the puzzle goes what's the first thing you want your team if you're going to build a team okay we need to build this piece of the puzzle first what would it be um well i i would say just that grit and resiliency Mm -hmm. i mean you know there there are going to be times where you face many challenges and things don't go your way and right. you don't play well or uh, the team doesn't play well and so I think um, <clears throat> just being able to fight through that and um, you know not let it eat at you and just come ready the next day for whatever comes your way um, so I think you know that is definitely one of the characteristics uh, of the team that that we try and instill mm-hmm. um, so because I think that can take you a long way in basketball and in life in life yeah, yeah. You, you when you come in and you take over for a coach and I don't care who you're taking over for I don't care if it's a state championship coach you have your own mindset and 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 structures that you want to pass along uh, whether the program is is the best in the country or or not the best in the country, you still have to instill your mindset on the girls. Mm-hmm. What, how do you how do you how do you get them to think your way, or or do you? <laughs> um, I haven't figured that out yet. <laughs> um, you know, I I think it's just um, you know the way that that I. Um, <clears throat> portray myself and, mm-hmm. and you know my actions and, and um, our coaching staff too you know it's important that I get a coaching staff that believes the way I believe right um, you know and, and I think you know our intensity our passion and, and you know our ability to when things aren't going our way you know when we face adversity right. how we react to that and, and hopefully you know that will um, the girls will see that um, but you know like I said I, I really don't know the answer to that yet I'm still it's a process um, I'm still trying to figure that out yeah. and um, you know that's I think one of the lessons that I'm learning is um, you know it, it how to reach the kids and and um, I don't know that I'll ever be able to get them to think mm-hmm. the way I think or play the way I played or right. whatever but um, <clears throat> just just bring in the same mindset to practice every day and just trying to get them improve and mm-hmm. so <laughs> have you ever <laughs> said to them through the course of the first year and a half when I played 
Um, this is what we did, or this is what we didn't do, or this is what I did. I don't. I don't know. Have I? I don't, I don't think. Not like. I don't think really. I yeah, have. Like, right. I don't. I don't really talk about. Like you know, I'll mention some things about when I, what I did in college, but sure. I, that that has more to do with like the offenses we run or the defense we, defenses mm -hmm. we run. But I, I don't really bring that up a lot because they don't get it. Right. You know, I don't think they would get it. Right. They can't relate to that. So I just I don't feel like there's any point to. Mm -hmm. um, and again, you know, I don't want them to think. Okay, well, you do that, so you know it doesn't matter. Right. Yeah, so, so I don't, I don't want to really get into that conversation. So, I really don't think I've mentioned it a lot. Yeah. Well, that's, yeah. that's good. Yeah, that's good. When you get to the end of the season, then and the, the season is done, and you're out of the state tournament, then you start looking for the off season. What do you, what do you, what's your assessment on what you need to do? Um, well, I think this off season, you know, we really focused on fundamental work. Mm -hmm. I mean, we just really need. To, needed to get back to the basics and we still do right. um, so this summer it was a lot of um, group work so we would split post and guards and, and just hammer down on what we really wanted to see um, those two groups be able to do um, you know we, we did a little bit of X's and O's but not really right. you know we played in a summer league and um, we went to team camp but so it was really just trying to get um, our individuals to to a higher level mm -hmm. um, and, and that just basically starts with fundamentals I've talked to a lot of coaches and I ask them all the same thing uh, and I kind of get uh, for the most part the, the same answer but I always ask about how much time you spend on fundamentals and, and at this stage in the game when you're in high school do you need to spend that much time on fundamentals uh, to be honest with you, last year we didn't spend a lot of time. Mm -hmm. um, this year we spend at least 30 minutes of practice on them. Um, you know, that's just one thing that we have um, noticed in film and in practice that we need to spend more time on those things. Mm -hmm. And, you know, our belief as a coaching staff is if we spend time on that, the appropriate amount of time, um, that that will then um, maybe make our offense look a little smoother, mm -hmm. um, you know, or make us move a little quicker on defense, whatever it right. may be but um, yeah no we every single day and the kids probably get tired of it and they probably think it's the same thing over and over but you know we're a firm believer and it starts with the fundamentals did you spend a lot of time when you were in school either college or high school on fundamentals um, just yourself I mean just kind of in your mindset on what you needed to do yeah uh, I mean you know I, I was always in the gym or at home doing something right. and so you know when I look back on it I did at the time I didn't think I was sure just because it was part of what I did right um, but I, I definitely didn't spend as much time as as I'm making these kids spend right um, and I go back and I wish I would have <laughs> but um, now I'm making them do it so right. it feels like you know yeah. okay this will benefit them in a lot. Well, and that brings me to my next question. Do you see you're, you're making these kids do this? Are you seeing the end result? We are definitely seeing improvement. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I think everybody can agree on our staff and, and our team that, you know, our ball handling and our turnovers um, at the beginning of the year um, were – really bad <laughs> uh, just gonna be honest which is really bad um, but you know since since we've noticed that and made that one of our focuses um, I, I think we've seen a huge improvement and, and that goes from you know our best ball handler that we had at the time right. to our worst ball handler right. um, you know I think we just feel a lot more comfortable with the ball in our hands so mm -hmm. um, you know I, I think we're getting somewhere with that so we'll continue to do it again you, you talk about playing in the summertime uh, how much emphasis do you put on the summertime not a lot mm -hmm. um, you know it, it's it's nice to see um, you know because that's that's when our incoming freshmen can can start playing with us so right. you know that's an opportunity for us to um, kind of see how we're going to gel together sure. and um, so so we don't put a lot of emphasis you know on those games and stuff obviously it's nice to to win a few while sure. you're doing it but um, you know and, and kids are coming out of spring sports and um, we're not really in the shape that we need to be but right. you know those are things that again those challenges that we face and, mm -hmm. and um, how much grit and resiliency do you have to push through it you know right. when you're tired or whatever but um, 
you know, we put a lot of emphasis on the fundamental work, mm -hmm. but not really a lot of emphasis, you know, on the games and the results and right. things like that. Just getting work in. Sure. Yeah, just yes. get, just getting work in. Yeah. Uh, hit the weights a lot. We did um, this past summer. You know, it's and again, we're still in the early stages of trying to get everything that right. we we want to get in and so um now we've kind of we we don't visit the weight room a lot but we do different things like you know we have our um we do our legs we have our strengthening bands so that's kind of our leg workout you know during practice um we'll do push-ups or planks or you know mm -hmm. different things like right. that so um you know just because there's not enough time in the day right. to do everything you want to do um so we try and just fit it in in the time that we do have and and the the time is limited and and sometimes kids have homework to do and other things to do and there's all right. kinds of and, and even coaches have other things to do yes yeah how do you fit it all in you don't <laughs> <laughs> you have to pick and choose, you know, what what's most important to you or, or what can wait till tomorrow or right. you know, um I was just having a conversation with um some of our junior high coaches the other day about, you know, there's not enough time in the day to do everything you want to do, mm -hmm. you know, and, and being a head basketball coach, that's a full-time job, sure. you know, and I've got another job on top of yeah, that. Right. Um, but so there's not enough time. You just, you just um, do the best with what you have mm -hmm. um, and, and try and really, you know, be as organized as you can during practice. You know, we've got a practice plan. We, we abide by, mm -hmm. you know, spend so many minutes on this, so many minutes on that. Um, so, yeah, I, if I had one wish, it'd be to have more time more in one day. <laughs> That's a lot of wishes for yeah. uh, the, uh, the same wish for a lot of people. So, yeah. um, if you if you look at, at where you're at now, um, and we'll talk about the season coming up in just a minute, do you see from and there's different personnel? I understand that from last year to this year, but do you see an overall gain from last year to this year? With you know, we talk about fundamentals and all that stuff. Is from where you're at. Um, you know, I, I think in some areas, yes, um, in other areas, not so much, mm -hmm. um, you know, but, but the areas that we that we have made some good progress in, you know, we're pleased with. And right. I think, you know, you can really see it um, in, in certain individuals. Sure. And, um, you know, so that that just makes your team um, you know, more more of a whole, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, so <clears throat> we have seen some good progress. We've wished that, you know, in some other areas we would have made some more progress, sure. but that's just how it goes. Right. And, you know, we spend more time on those things now. Um, to be honest with you, we still don't, you know, we still haven't gotten to the point where we've got everything we want to get in, sure. everything we want to teach, because, you know, it, you can't <laughs> build Rome in right. one night. But, right. um, <laughs> you know, but we have seen some good progress. Right. And, um, you know, hopefully we will just continue to to move forward. And, and so. You, you mentioned the junior high. Do you spend a lot of time interacting with the junior high coaches and team and that kind of thing? This year more, mm -hmm. um, you know, and that's one thing I think I learned from last year. Last year, <clears throat> excuse me, I didn't, mm -hmm. um, and um, you know, this year I'm really trying to um, be involved with my junior high coaches a little more. Um, you know, whenever we can get to junior high games, we need to be right. there, um, and you know, it, it, whenever they can come to our high school games, I encourage that. Right. Um, you know, and so I'm trying to do more of that because I. I do believe that that's really important. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so it, it's just a matter of when can we fit it in, and, right. and you know, when do we not have practice, or when do we not have a game to yeah. be able to do those that's, things. That's that whole time management thing mm -hmm. that sometimes yep. is hard to come by. So. Yep. Um, Oh, I know what it was. I had a question. It went away. Uh, number wise, numbers good, okay, could be better, or could always be better, I assume. Yeah. Um, junior high or high school? Yes. Um, so, you know, high school, we think that we, we have a pretty good amount of numbers. Sure. Now, we would like to have more. Absolutely. Um, you know, in junior high, um, we would like to have more. Right. Um, you know, our numbers are not where. I would like them to be at all. Um, 
but you know, even if we had, even if we had 25 kids on the high school team, I don't know if I would think that was enough. <laughs> I don't right, know. Right. Um, but no, so you know, again, it, that's really one of our. Um, focuses is is how do we get more kids to come out and um, I think with the junior high it's important to just try and make basketball fun again right you know first and foremost and just get them out and then um, you know work on the fundamentals and, and go from there but um, you know the numbers are okay mm -hmm. but definitely could be better well and and what you see and what every other high school basketball coach and and every coach that coaches a high school sport sees in today's world there's never enough bodies to go around no no and that's every sport in every school yeah most every sport in every school yeah you know i i last year and, and even this year i'm like okay am i doing something wrong right. you know why so but then you know you go around and you talk to people and and it's it seems like it's an epidemic sure. i mean you know there's just kids that that aren't coming out and um and especially it's especially hard you know we we face the adversity like we have this year sure. and you know sometimes at practice we've only got 11 kids and because mm -hmm. of injuries or right. sickness or right. whatever right um, yeah. the injury bug has hit you this year how do you work through that it's been tough mm -hmm. um, honestly I mean I I you know was talking to the paper a couple weeks ago and I said in in my career playing wise and coaching wise I I've never faced this much adversity. Right. Um, and so, you know, I feel like I can deal with adversity, but when you're the head coach and you're trying to get 20 other people to right. get through it and help them get through that and yeah. make sure things are okay for now, and um, it's tough, mm -hmm. you know. And so, and I think we struggled. I mean, I th it was obvious that we struggled, and yeah. I think we're still kind of struggling a little bit. Um, but it's just like grief. I mean, you gotta you gotta work through it. You, you know, something it. happens. You gotta work through it, and right. Um, you may be through it two weeks later, but then it hits you again mm -hmm. the fourth week, and so right. You know, you just gotta take it day by day, and um, I think we're starting to um, kind of figure out that you know we have what we have, and we've mm -hmm. got to work with it. Every high school coach would love for their kids to mature at a quicker pace. They would love for their kids to um, get the inception of whatever the coach is trying to tell them at a quicker pace. It never works that way. No, no. And I think, you know, um, the the kids want to. Yeah. You know, I just think maybe sometimes, you know, in my counseling mind developmentally, right. you know, they're right. just, they just, don't think that way sure. right now and um, yeah. you know eventually when they get older and they start to look back and think you know okay now I get what she was trying to now say I get and, it, yeah. you know right. um, but you know and like I said I, I don't think it's because they don't want to right you know I, I just don't know that they're able to talk about your senior yeah um, you know we're really thankful to have Abby on the team um, Abby and I go way back so it's kind of cool to yeah um, you know have these experiences with her and um you know she's the the we have two seniors right. but the lone senior that plays and, right. and um you know is really giving us that leadership um you know obviously that we we couldn't do what we do without her sure you know um and i think everybody knows that yeah. um you know but abby brings a lot to our team um she's really good with our younger kids um you know our younger kids kind of flock to her which is you know a good thing to see and um you know she she works hard and um she tries to do what what she's asked and mm -hmm. so um you know we're, we're like i said i'm thankful that that we have her and nobody else does right <laughs> um and um you know honestly i like I said, it's kind of cool for me because, you know, personally, we've known each other for a long time. Sure. Um, and so for me, mm -hmm. you know, it, it's neat to be able to experience this yeah. with her. Well, and it's, it, that relationship that goes back, you, it's, it's nice for a, a coach to see a kid mature and grow. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, and I think, you know, I didn't have... Um, much experience you know coaching her or anything like that right. just being around right. her you know personally and um yeah i mean she, you know she's she's come a long way and i think you know she definitely has a bright future mm -hmm. ahead of her and whatever she does right um so yeah we we've got a 
neat relationship. You know, I'm sure she wants to strangle me sometimes, and I just want to strangle her sometimes. But at the end of the day, that's you know, perfect. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, I mean, we we go home. I would consider her family. Yeah. You know, so right. um, like I said, it's it's really neat for me to um, you know be able to coach her sure. now. Right. In, in do, you have to, do you have to coach her much? Uh, depends on the day. Yeah. Depends on the mood she's in. <laughs> Yeah, for the most part, she she takes she takes <laughs> care of her own things, but um, you know, like I said, she 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 takes care of yeah. her things, and you know, if she doesn't, I'm gonna let her know. Right, of course. And um, what you're she knows that. Right. So, um, but yeah, you know, yeah. I I I couldn't you know be more thankful that that right. she's with us and we get to experience it together. I don't know if she feels that way, right. but I do. Well, good. All right, Abby. Good morning. Good morning. Um, how are you? I'm good. <laughs> good. Um, talk about your basketball experience. Um, I mean, you, you've been playing the game for a long time. You've been around the program for a long time. Now you're a senior. Do you ever think you'd make it to your senior year? Honestly, I didn't. <laughs> In basketball, at least. Yeah. Like, I wasn't for sure I was actually going to stick it out all the way. Right. Why did you? Well, freshman and sophomore year were a little rough with mm -hmm. just like everything that was going on within the program mm -hmm. and people outside i didn't know if it was actually going to be worth it because basketball has never been really like my number one right. sport i guess so that's kind of like she said like i'm really thankful that she came in because i do remember being in like elementary and going and watching her play at butler and mm -hmm. stuff like that so she yeah. kind of brought like the passion back to the game for me mm -hmm. and like i don't know it's just pretty cool to like actually like the sport of like you know what I mean right. like the sport again yeah do you do you is there times where you you think hey, maybe I shouldn't have played basketball I should have focused on softball or whatever sometimes mm -hmm. but I, f I feel like that's with everything right it goes back to everything right. but I mean like there's especially this year with like the things we've gone through and stuff mm -hmm. you get to certain points where you're like why am I even doing this right. like why is this happening mm -hmm. but Devin is really supportive of all of us and like sometimes I don't even know how she does it like I watch us I'm like oh my gosh like <laughs> I don't know how she puts up with this all day so like I'm really thankful just that she's here in general yeah for basketball and just everything outside of it what do you what do you think um what's one of your strengths on the basketball court what do you do well um, I'm really good, I think at least, I'm really good at kind of like keeping everyone together mm -hmm. and on the same page. Mm -hmm. Like fundamentally we're all in completely different places and like knowledge about the game, but like my biggest thing is I just want to keep us all together. Like I, I think our biggest problem is we fight so often mm -hmm. and that kind of like tears us down too. So sure. that's like my major goal is just like keep us like civil and on right. good terms because yeah. usually when we do that we play a lot better. Right. Like, I don't, I don't know. It's just one of those little things. You've got the level head, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. What's what's something then on the court that you guys need to improve on? Um. Well, there's a handful of things. I think. <laughs> <laughs> I really just think it's like the basic things. Mm -hmm. Like if you if you actually watch us, like we do so many just like stupid things because we're just going crazy. Like mm -hmm. we're not controlling. Just right. I think. Honestly, like there's so many little things that we could fix and it would just like make a drastic difference mm -hmm. in the place we are now. You are building obviously like every coach does and every player does, you're building for the end of the season towards sectional. What do you what do you think your ob, um, your chances are once you get to sectional? Think you have an opportunity to make some noise? I honestly think we can. Mm -hmm. Like just based on the way like our season's going, we have our highs and our lows. Like, when we have our good moments, like, I think we're decently look good. Like, mm. we're pretty good. Yeah. But, again, it goes the other way, too. Yeah. But just based on everybody else's seasons, too, like, mm. it's a weird year for girls basketball, I mm. think, especially the teams in, like, our conference and sure. sectional. Like, it's sure. all over the place. So, I think it could be interesting when it gets to that time. What are your plans when you graduate from high school? Um, as of right now, my number one is to go to UND mm -hmm. and major in elementary education. Oh, really? Yeah. You gonna play a sport in, in college? I don't think so. Nope. You're gonna no. you're <laughs> just gonna go into the education portion. <laughs> I of think it. so. All right. Well, thanks for being here this morning, and I just want to mention you are another one of my favorite people because you are left-handed so <laughs> Thank us, you. us left handers have to stick together <laughs> Thank so you. early coach let's start four and eight you're going to to tremble today but let's let's talk a little bit about the a quick portion of the season got off to to two straight wins before you dropped six in a row 
kind of, I mean, it's it's been the up and down kind of season. You've had some injuries, as you mentioned, but again, you're you're building for after Christmas in January and the end of January and sectional and all that stuff coming up. Yeah, um, <clears throat> you know, we we did we started off with a bang, mm -hmm. and then um, you know we had two or three get injured mm -hmm. um you know and, and that's that that six there was a really tough time sure you know um facing that adversity and then you know losing six in a row you know you you put that together and um you know but in that time you know and i what, this was a fault of mine. I got wrapped up into that too, right? Um, you know, and that's something moving forward that I need to learn from. Um, you know, but but after that, you know, our, our focus was just to improve. Mm -hmm. I mean, whether we win or lose, obviously nobody likes losing, sure. um, but we need to continue to improve. So when it does come the end of January, that we're putting ourselves in the best position as possible to make a run through sectional. Mm -hmm. You know, so um, it, it has been up and down. Um, you know, but but our main focus, you know, we needed to reevaluate after we right. lost those six in a row. Sure. Um, and we needed to take a step back, and you know, that's that's where the coaching staff met. And was like, okay, you know, we can't get wrapped up in our record. Mm -hmm. You know, we can't get wrapped up in everything else that's going on. We just need to make sure that you know we're getting these kids to somehow take a half step forward right um and, and so that's what we're doing right now and you know we did have a we i thought we played well against new washington mm -hmm. you know last week sure um and, and to be honest with you i was kind of nervous about that game new right. washington's good yeah they are and um you know i thought we played solid against mm -hmm. them you know borden not so much right you know so that's where you know Hopefully, middle of January, closer to sectional time, will be a little more consistent. Mm -hmm. Win ugly, and that's okay. Yes, and, it, and, yeah. and it, it it's not okay for the coach, but it's okay. Right, <laughs> yeah, it's okay for everybody else because it's a win. But for me, you know, personally, yeah, I'm like. <sighs> we could be much better well everybody needs a win every once yes, in a while yes absolutely yeah that i mean it was that win was needed right for sure and you don't get style points for no how, how good it was nope. so that nope. that's okay nope. uh, remaining part of the schedule trimble county today milan uh you're going to play in the rumble of course austin providence switzerland county uh rising sun south ripley trinity lutheran jacksondale uh, some pretty good competition <laughs> yeah <laughs> Just, uh, we, a, just a mile <laughs> without a little bit. Yeah, with uh, after the first of the year, I mean, it's it's no a cakewalk. Right. That's for sure. Sure, and you know? and you're trying to get better. Right, and and we did. We made some changes last year to our schedule. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, we got Providence on the schedule. Um, we kept Trinity Lutheran. Um, you know, we played West Washington twice earlier this year. Sure. They're good. Right. Um, you know, so. Uh, again, you know, I don't know what our record's going to be, yeah. um, but if we can just focus on and, and th keep these kids together until the end of January and mm -hmm. just keep improving, um, you know, I, I think we will feel pretty good about where sure. we're going to be. Because, you know, Abby's right. I think I think we do have a chance to make some noise in the sectional. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just a matter of can we realize that the work we're doing now is is – you know right preparing for those right. moments and i've had this conversation with a multitude of people sometimes when you don't have a very good season but you make some noise in the sectional all of a sudden that season's kind of forgotten a little bit yeah that's exactly right yeah. you know and that's again i at first i, w I was fixated on the record and, right. and that's that's a fault of mine and, right. and you know now i've got a totally different mindset or trying to anyway right. and um you know so yeah the record at this point i, I could care less right. about it you know yeah. and, and so but you're exactly right if you go and win you know two two games in the sectional year the championship game that's right nobody cares about your record nah. you know nobody, they all forget about it yeah nobody asks about it nobody <laughs> looks at it that's so. right that's right <laughs> Coach, we appreciate coming in today. Best of luck at Triple County today and the rest of the season. Thank you, Tim. All right. Again, that's uh, Coach Devin Briley stopping by Coach's Corner this morning, talking about Southwestern Lady Rebel basketball. Thanks to Abby Ralston for stopping by uh, today as well. We'll do it again next Saturday morning, live from McDonald's here on Madison's Hilltop. For A.J. Bramer in studio, I'm Tim Torrance. We'll see you next time for Coach's Corner here on Works 96.7. Sponsored in part by... 
Chandler Chevrolet, 600 Clifty Drive, Madison, Indiana. McDonald's, 744 Clifty Drive, Madison, Indiana. Anderson Sales and Service, 2914 Clifty Drive, Madison, Indiana.